Hi, I'm Darren Cook of Big Stick Combat, aided by my friend Eric here. Last week we were showing a technique in which I'm going to stand, I got my hands crossed like this. As he attacks, I'm going to flop, and then now I'm going to come down and hit him with both hands. Now, what's wrong with this technique? Well, let's see. I flop, I start to come, but he's done multiple attacks. Who's going to throw one punch and stop? So, a particularly violent uh, assault, I can expect punches and punches. Well, let's try that again. I block, I block, and then now he's, again, why, why are my hands trapped? So how could we improve this technique? Well, number one, why do I want to stand like this? What if I take this, this uh, position here? So something comes in, here's my first move. Worst case, at the very least, I'm covered. If I get sucker punched and I'm knocked unconscious, he can drive the car over me if he wants. So here's, now let's take a step further. From here, I'm going to extend. This is a wedge. Now I'm going to aim this. I'm going to aim this right at his chin. Next move, here, and knee. So here's the other, the other flaw of this technique. As I come up, I am on line. So I'm right in front of him. And no matter what, so I'm right in the onslaught of his attack. Ideally with this one, I come down low, and then now I can move off angle. I can also weaponize this technique. So suppose I have a mini flashlight. I'm here, first move. I'm going to throw this right into, then I, I'm, ideally I'm going to keep for safety's sake. But I'm going to go into the throat, in the chin with this, hand down. If he starts, suppose he now wants to tackle me, I can drop in. I'm, I'm already, I've extended, I've extended here. So my head is down and protected, and then now if he starts to charge in, and again, it's easier for me to move offline with that, that technique. So this technique, the wedge, I can now use this to grab, at the very least push him aside and move, move to the side.